It's a real privilege to be here at KubeCon to talk to you about um, what we're doing with you all in this space. It's incredibly exciting. If there's two things you take away from my presentation today, uh, I'd hope they'd be one, an expanded appreciation for all of the areas where NVIDIA and the cloud native community are collaborating and how you can get involved uh, with that. And second, an understanding of the important, really valuable problems that we have yet to solve as a community in delivering AI to the ecosystem and hopefully get inspired about solving those as well. So this is the infrastructure of AI. It's not just because what NVIDIA is building, um, but because this form of computing, accelerated computing, which requires working on a problem from the top to the bottom, end to end, is what physics requires us to do to not only make computing go faster in the future, but also critically to be more energy efficient as well. These are heterogeneous distributed systems. They're the most complex computers the world's ever seen. Not just for training new AI frontier models, but also delivering the applications using AI efficiently. And they're advancing at a breakneck pace. Applications are now tied into customers' unique data, simulations, their workflows. And that means that that software now has to be optimized end to end as well. All the software on top of the hardware, all around it has to be working together as one. And software is in a growing proportion of that solution, and in many cases, this is cloud native software. So fundamentally, delivering AI in this context means putting these systems reliably and efficiently together in the hands of cloud native engineers and DevOps teams around the world with the APIs and tools they need to build their solutions. So this is something we've actually been working with you guys on for a long time. Uh, the community actually took the lead at getting GPUs into Kubernetes back in 2016, and we noticed and we dived in, uh, went all in with you guys on it. Um, and it's been a really healthy pace of innovation. Uh, we have these sort of phases that move back and forth where foundational problems are, are, are worked and discovered, um, component solutions are built, and then we come together with the community to build abstractions that tie those all together and make it simpler to adopt for a wider number of users. We've uh, succeeded in doing this with things like the GPU device plugin and the device plugin architecture in Kubernetes, GPU and network operators, and now the NIM operator and DRA which is gonna let us really efficiently use all of the different heterogeneous resources in these complex machines. We're seeing things like the GPU operator downloads doubling almost year over year, so the engagement is great in that direction. And commensurately over time, there's an increasing engagement from within NVIDIA to the cloud native community, targeted towards not just fundamental hardware enablement like networks and GPUs, but also things like topology APIs, that let us understand the way that these large-scale computers are put together at the cloud-native level. Measuring and optimizing the various different schedulers that are out there so we know we're getting efficient utilization of resources. Accelerating things like near-cluster and in-cluster AI storage, or accelerating Kubernetes native networking with hardware offloads to make sure that they're not the bottleneck and new frontiers in things like confidential containers and Kata support that allow us to bring secure use cases to the cloud native ecosystem while also being accelerated. This is just one dynamic map where we have and, and are both using and contributing to the cloud native community. We recognize that there's no one perfect way to solve these problems. The space is just too broad. And so we just engage with the ecosystem broadly. And we're seeing about a two times year over year increase in NVIDIAs contributing to these projects, which is great to see. All of this is really born out of two fundamental virtuous cycles. On one hand, NVIDIA works on the full stack of cloud software far beyond just the drivers 
to optimize these new platforms that are coming out. At the same time, we work with the cloud native community and working groups towards supporting those architectures in conformant Kubernetes and projects beyond. The other cycle is where we're operators at scale of this very same technology and are able to look at the different diversity of services, platforms, deployment approaches, workloads that are out there, and bring that experience back to the community to inform how we solve problems together. I mentioned we're operators at scale of this technology. And in fact, we have a pretty massive global footprint uh, in NVIDIA's cloud. It's about order 50 global regions with six figures worth of GPUs in all in production across it. With a diverse set of dozens of different workloads, both for internal NVIDIA projects as well as external customers. From everything from robotics, self-driving cars, to building new foundational visual models, or simulation of the Earth's climate, or serving up inference for many different optimized uh, inference workloads. Overall, the, the structure that we've found works well is a, a layering approach where we actually depend on, on, on conformant Kubernetes across a wide variety of providers. And this gives us a really unique perspective uh, into what the cloud native environment looks like across the world. The green layer here is, is this layer that we operate and interfaces with all the different versions of Kubernetes that are provided out there in the world. Ultimately, we, we aim to build a common substrate and a set of capabilities that allow us to solve specific problems uh, in the infrastructure uh, at a layer that interfaces with each of the different uh, types of infrastructure, whether that's a, a, an on-premise cluster in a dedicated data center or something that you're getting from a cloud provider. A good example of this would be the Topograph project that you can see on, on GitHub if you search for it, where we needed to solve a problem uh, where each of the different infrastructure providers has a slightly different topology for the high performance network that's in an AI training cluster. And this is something that's actually critical for the cloud native layer to know, the Kubernetes layer to know about when you're doing things like uh, removing a node due to some uh, issue in the hardware or software, or you're trying to scale up a workload because locality matters and you need to know where these GPUs are in relation to each other. Ultimately, the goal of this is to support a number of different complex workloads and workflows. An example of this is uh, our digital human architecture, just picking one example here. This is an example of what we call uh, uh, NVIDIA Inference Microservice Blueprint. It composes a bunch of open source software with uh, NVIDIA optimized containers for various models, uh, inference models that have been tuned and secured and released, and then uh, put together with blueprints on how to compose those into example microservices. In this case, a digital human assistant. On this side, you see a user interacting with a live stream of audio coming in and a live stream of audio and video coming back. This is deployed with a standard Helm chart a set of services and containers here that implement the rendering, the audio processing, the audio generation. Ultimately, this is an example of where we want to take retrieval augmented generation, hooking up a specific data set. In this case, it would be the ORAN data set that has to do with telecommunications information. And we want to hook that up to this digital assistant. Now, this is a much more complicated operation than just deploying a Helm chart. There's a number of different workflows that need to coordinate together. There's data sets that need to be accessed, authentication that needs to be used. For this, we have something called the NIM operator. You can go on GitHub and see that uh, in open source. And that helps in deploying these more complex workflows uh, on top of these individual containers and components. Let's take a quick look um, at what this looks like when it all comes together. Hey, James. Hello, I'm James, a digital human, thrilled to be here at KubeCon North America 2024. 
So this is an example of something that you can see in your browser today if you go to build.nvidia.com that's implementing and operating an example of that exact blueprint that I described previously. It's taking audio and you can interact with it through your browser, ask it questions, it'll be back by alone. You can actually go and configure that in terms of how it's connecting to a RAG operator in order to augment its answers or not. Ultimately, there's a, a, a lot of progress that we've made together, but there's still a bunch of these big challenges we have yet to solve. New workloads are constantly evolving. We're seeing from RAG to agentic AI with a bunch of AI working together, passing information between different AI agents, to now online reasoning where more compute is happening at runtime when responses are being generated. This is gonna put a focus on the infrastructure to really take into account the way that you optimally carve up these complicated machines efficiently and make sure things like auto-scaling, resilient failover, the interface between the application and the infrastructure is well described so that people don't have to develop this many different ways. I think this is a real opportunity for the ecosystem to come together, the community to come together and solve these problems. On the training side as well, we have multiple workflows, multiple ways of orchestration, and there as well, there's a real need for uh, developing APIs that allow the infrastructure to understand what's happening at the application layer. Common question that I will get from some of the teams that are operating NVIDIA's cloud is, it's really hard to understand if this new research workflow is having a bad day or not. It's doing something new. Um, or if we have an infrastructure failure of some kind, somewhere low in the stack, maybe you'll get five different alerts up the stack ultimately pointing to the same thing when you go and debug it, but it's not out of the box coming from the cloud native ecosystem going to be set up in a way that's going to point you to the right cause. I think these are places where we can innovate together and really make, uh, make the cloud native ecosystem the place where people come to get solutions to these problems. Ultimately, this is um, NVIDIA's biggest KubeCon ever. We have 20 sessions here. Um, it's a great opportunity to come and talk to folks who are working on all of these areas. You can scan the QR code to get a list of those and come visit us in the booth. Thank you very much.